Okay, so let's start the next problem in theory of computation. Given below are two finite state automata. Okay, so these are two finite state automata with star and final states marked. So this is the start state with arrow and this f is final state. Okay, so usually what is given is you're given something like this. Okay, you have these transitions with the start state and final state. Uh, that's finite automata. Okay, but in this case, it's not given like this. It is given like a table and these two representations are equal. Okay because what you can represent like this you can represent in the form of a table okay and just to quickly summarize what's happening out here in a table how do you interpret a table so if you are in state a if you read a symbol a you remain in state a you are in state one okay sorry you're in state one uh, it's not state a I think I was you know my mind was playing tricks so state one read a you remain in state one you are in state one you read b you go to state two state two you read a you go to state two you're in state two you read b you go to state one and that's what happens out here okay the same thing okay so that's how a table is read uh, that's the interpretation and then what you have to tell that which of the following is the product automaton of z and y so this is z and this is y okay so what you have to do is find the product automaton and how do you do the product automaton okay it's it's quite simple what you do is you run okay both the automata simultaneously okay you 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 map your transitions okay on both of them simultaneously so you when you are the starting state of this you are also at the starting state of this and on reading a you see where does this go and where does this go and you make them and combine one state so the product will have one state for y and one state for z and that's the reason what I'm going to do is I'm going to write y1 z1 y2 z2 like this okay the state 1 out here is y1 state 2 out here is y2 and state 1 out here is z1 state 2 is z2 that's what that's how I'm going to write them down because then it will become easier for me to track the states like which state I am in and of which automata because if I write just one I don't know whether I am in one of y or in one of z so that's why I have to make this distinction and then finally I have to write the correct I have to choose the correct option and if you look at these options they don't have these y1 z1 or these one or two they have pqrs so what what they have done actually is finally they have relabeled they have labeled the states in this product automata by pqrs instead of all of these combinations you can get out here so you can see that you can combine them in in what four ways okay you can get y1 um, z1 y1 z2 y2 z1 and y2 z2 you can get all these four combinations and that's why you have pqrs okay and and you don't uh, know from the beginning that what is what okay so you have to do those you have to do actually this transition you have to make these transition uh, transitions you have to build the product automaton to see what what's happening so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write a out here and, and b out here like that so that i know the transition one thing i can be sure of is y1 z1 okay because y1 z1 is my start state and what is given out here is that this p is the start state in all of them okay if you look at any one of them P is the start state and R is the is is a final state okay in all of these you can see that so what I can be sure of is that okay so this is my P okay Y1 Z1 that is something I can be sure of so let's start with Y1 Z1 out here and this is also P okay this is also P and then we'll see what happens okay okay let's do one thing instead of writing it like y1 z1 let's write it like z1 y1 because he's saying z cross y it doesn't matter but just the order in which you get table might be a little different so instead of writing y1 z1 for my convenience I'm going to write uh, z1 y1 okay that's convenient for me okay and then let's see uh, so from Z1 if you read a where do you go you go to okay so this 
you go to Z2 okay from Z1 you read A you went to Z2 what about Y1 so that's how you do so just be just uh, pay a little bit of attention because uh, if you don't know how the product automaton is built uh, then you need to look what I'm doing out here so I was in this state that was my start state Y1 Z1 or Z1 Y1 doesn't matter and then for both of them I have to say where do I go so for Z1 on reading A I go to Z2 and I have to look for Y1 on Y1 I reading A I remain at Y1 so I just write Y1 like this okay same thing for Z1 on reading B I go to Z2 okay I go to Z2 like this okay and on Y1 on reading B I go to Y2 like this okay is it is it does it make sense Z1 you read B you went to Z2 Y1 you read B you went to Y2 okay uh, that's uh, the idea out here okay and then what we need to do is we need to go ahead and and now see what happens with these other states okay so uh, let's talk about this one z2 y1 so suppose i have z2 y1 out here and then i'll do the same thing z2 i read a uh, i will be in z2 only like this okay and y1 i read a i'll be in y1 only uh, does it make sense or not uh, Z2 Y1 okay I was in Z2 I read A I go to Z1 sorry it is not I, I go to Z1 okay Z2 I read A I go to Z1 yeah and what do I have next Y1 I read A I go to Y1 only okay now it makes sense what about B Z2 okay I read B I go to Z1 okay what about Y1 Y1 uh, I read B I go to Y2 so yeah so that's what I'm going to get out here and then what else do I have I have something like you know uh, Z2 Y2 so let's see what happens with Z2 Y2 okay where do I go with Z2 Y2 okay so the same thing Z2 Y2 for Z2 if you read A you go to Z1 okay and for Y2 if you read A you remain at Y2 only okay and for Z2 uh, again if you read B you go to Z1 and for Y2 if you read B you go to Y1 okay uh, okay so what is left Z1 Y2 okay so Z1 Y2 is the last state that is left and we'll see what happens in that case Z1 Y2 okay uh, for Z1 if you read A you go to Z2 alright and Y2 okay for Y2 if you read A you remain in Y2 and then for Z1 if you read B you go to Z2 and for Y2 uh, if you read B you go to Y1 okay so that's what you have up till now okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to map it out with PQRS that's what I need to do okay so this thing is definitely P out here so this is definitely P Z1 Y1 where else do I have P I have a P out here I have a P out here okay so that's what I have first thing I have so in my in my table okay what should I have is the correct table the first thing that I should have is there should be exactly uh, three P's in the table okay one uh, Z1 Y1 okay let me check again yeah there should be exactly three P's in my table 
and uh, this way I can eliminate some of them so out here I have three P's one two and three out here I have one P I have two P I have only two P's so this is definitely gone okay there I have three P's there I have three P's so these are not gone so far what else so on P if I read A I go to some state Z to Y1 okay and then what happens if I read a from Z to Y1 okay so from P I read A I go to this state and for that state if I read A I go I come back to that state so the first transition that I should have is from P I should go somewhere and then I should from that I should come back to P so P to S and from S if I read A I'm coming back to P so this is not eliminated out here P to A and P if I read A I go to Q from Q if I read A I should come to P so this is eliminated as well okay because in the first transition you can see P reads A it goes here and then from that state you read A you should come back to P what about this okay so this is also eliminated so P you read A you go to S but from S if you read A you don't go to P and this is eliminated as well that's that, is, that means we are left with this option and and let's see what happens in this case so so R is your final state Z2 I do so let's say this is your S Z2 Y1 so S and let's see mark this S everywhere and that, that will make it the final nail in the coffin that everything is fine like right? nailed it so S S Z2 Y1 do we have Z2 Y1 anywhere else we have S out here and Z2 Y1 anywhere else and no okay so and this is what R so do we have Z2 Y2 anywhere else we have Z2 Y2 here so this is R and this is R okay so PSR is fine and for R if you read where do you go okay so the only thing that is left is Q so this must be Q Z1 Y2 must be Q out here Q okay so this is Q and this is Q as well okay okay now we can see PSR that is fine SPQ do we have SPQ yeah we have SPQ out here so these rows are actually interchanged so this is the last row out there this is the fourth row out there this is the first row do we have RQP yes we have RQP this is fine this is still the third row and do we have QRS yeah this is the second row out there so okay so the second and fourth row in our thing it got exchanged but it doesn't matter because we can always exchange these rows it doesn't change the NFA right it won't change because it is only a row only tells the transition from what state to what state and that doesn't change so yeah that's that means we are that's option A is the correct choice